So I wanted to tell a story in regards to a particular seller, a particular individual that was having the ultimate nightmare investment rental property landlord scenario. Um, basically, I got this, uh, I got connected with this individual through an attorney friend of mine. She was basically trying to figure out, she was looking for advice from an attorney on what she should do with this property because this particular tenant hadn't paid rent in a very long time and um, not only that, they had totally trashed the property. So she knew she wanted to sell the property because she wasn't going to want to spend the money to hire an attorney to go through the eviction process and then still have to spend all sorts of money to fix it up. Um, you know, she was just done with it. And it was so draining for her because these particular tenants um, were creating the ultimate nightmare for her. They were, um, she said at this particular point, being just super uncooperative and basically mean to this uh, particular landlord. And what made the story um, even more difficult for her is she was renting this particular investment property to a family member. And that family member had taken advantage of their relationship and her kindness. And it was actually a year since they had paid their last rent payment. So she'd let them live there for a year, every month, asking for rent, asking for rent. And they would say, oh, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. We're getting it next month, this month, next month, this month. And a year goes by and at this point she was absolutely fed up. And on top of that, uh, they were trashing the property. She could see that the property was being hammered and destroyed. So she was seeking advice and this attorney said, well, you know, if you're interested, uh, why don't you, or if you, you know, if, you're, if you don't want it, why don't you sell it? And she said, you know, the difficult part about putting this house in the market is these individuals aren't letting anybody go to the home. So if I put it on the market and a real estate agent wants to show it to a client, they're locking the door so no one can go inside to see it. And so she says it's going to be extremely difficult to sell um, this particular property. So I just need to figure out how to get them out of the house. I need to figure out how to evict them. Once they're out, then I can, you know, at that point, put the property on the market. And he said, you know, if you're open to this, I know some people who might be uh, um, willing to purchase the home sight unseen on the inside. They'll probably go look at the outside, but um, they don't need to necessarily go inside to see the property and you don't have to evict them. You can sell it as is, you can sell it quickly. So long story short, he put us in contact and she was telling us, listen, I would love to cash out on my investment property and get my money as soon as possible. If you could pay me, you know, within the next four to five days, I it would be like a dream come true. So we were able to do that. We went and took a peek at the property, of course, from the outside because we couldn't go in. And within about four or five days, we were able to pay her her money. She was absolutely ecstatic because she had been able to cash out without no longer having any more headache in regards to that house, having to go through the eviction process or anything like that. And she was able to take her money and leave. At which point we were the new owners and we took on the headache. So we actually then at that point, um, which she shared with us, you know, I'm so relieved that you now get to evict these people because they were family members and we're in such a bitter battle right now. I can't imagine having to go to court and uh, fight over rent with, with, with family members. And so I'm so glad that you guys are doing this. So we hired the uh, eviction attorney and here in the state of Utah, the eviction process is about 30 days. But ironically, these tenants had actually showed up to court and fought uh, the eviction, which of course uh, they didn't win, but it prolonged the eviction process from 30 days to about another 45 days. And so basically uh, we had to wait a little bit longer before they were, before we got the right to evict them. And at about 45 days, um, they still refused to leave. So at that particular point, then we had the sheriff come and go into the house and basically the sheriff's gonna escort them out of the home because they don't have the right to be there anymore. Well, we notified them the day before the sheriff was gonna show up. So they were prepared to not be home. So they decided not to be home. Uh, sheriff went to the house, uh, basically broke down the door, went inside, looked around, made sure no one was in the home. And then once he cleared the house, um, we were able to have our contractors change the locks on the doors and basically take possession of the house. But all of the belongings were still inside the home, which is still a whole nother legal process. By law, we have to hold on to that property for about 14 more days. We have to give the tenants the right and the, and the ability to still come get their stuff and we have to hold it for 14 more days. So you can put it in a self storage. Um, 
and then ask these particular individuals to pay you back for the self storage fee, you do have that right. Of course, they're probably not gonna give you the self storage fee. So we chose not to take the property out. We left it in the home for another 14 days, notified the tenants, you know, you gotta come get your stuff, you gotta come get your stuff, you have 14 days. At which point, then at that point, we have the ability and the right to throw it away, to sell it, to keep it, to do whatever we want with it. So. Long story short, after another 15 days, so totaling about 60 days, um, we took on this uh, headache of trying to evict these um, very uncooperative tenants who refused to leave and relieved a seller of that um, stress. And uh, she was happy to get rid of the stress and she was happy to cash out and get her money in less than five days. Um, and um, we were happy to then acquire this particular property at which point, of course, we had to um, repair the massive damage that had been done to the home. And, and um, But it was uh, a great win-win situation because the seller was happy of the way we were able to purchase it sight unseen and be able to pay her the money so quickly. And of course, um, we were happy to do it, take on the uh, eviction process ourselves. It's something that we've done before, so uh, we weren't uh, afraid of that whole process and evict the tenant and then basically acquire the property. 